Hi, I'm John Thorpe. I'm co-race director of Paris Ancaster Bike Race, and I'm here with my friends Darren and Victor. We're at New World Cycle in Burlington. New World's been a long-term sponsor of the Paris Ancaster Bike Race, and today these guys are going to help me answer one of the uh, big questions we get at the, uh, every year about the race, and the question is, what type of bike should I use in the Paris Ancaster Bike Race? So our first bike here is a hybrid, uh, probably most appropriate for the 20K ride, and Victor is going to tell you a little bit about the features of this bike. Yeah. Odds are you're probably going to have a bike like this in your garage. Very simply uh, and easy to operate. Uh, upright posture, very comfortable ride. Not a very technical bike. It's really an upright, easy, recreational bike. So one of the new fun type of bikes that have come along recently are the Fat Tire Bike, also known as the Fat Bike. It is a fun bike to ride. This is the Trek Farley 5. The first thing you notice is these oversized tires. Very oversized, tends to float uh, over the mud sections, so it is ideally suited for the, you know, the downhill sections where it's extremely muddy on the power line. The downside of this bike, uh, for the longer distances, is it's not the most efficient bike. It tends to be a little bit on the heavier side. Um, again, without the suspension fork, you are going to get uh, a little bit more fatigued on a longer course. But uh, other than that, it's a good fun bike to ride on any distance. So Darren and I have uh, the two bikes that are probably used by 90% of the people who ride the 40 or 70k events. Uh, I've got a, a high-end carbon fiber mountain bike made by Trek. Um, it's a beautiful bike. It's got um, a broader range of gears than the bike that Darren has. It's got a front shock, uh, so it's going to be great going down some of the mudslides. Uh, it's also got a lockout, so I can lock out the front shock so on the flat sections I don't need to use the shock. I can have a solid uh, front um, fork. Disc brakes, which will be good in the mud. Um, just overall a nice bike to ride. I think I'd probably go with a little bit narrower tire on here and a little bit less aggressive tread for the race. This is a Candel Super X cross bike. It's their carbon fiber model. So again, very, very lightweight um, race caliber bike. Um, the big advantage over John's bike, or one of the advantages, is the, the handlebars. It has the drop handlebars, which again, when you're in the drops, you're going to have more aerodynamics, more efficiency, more power. Uh, has a narrower tire compar comparatively to John's. Again, just a little quicker tire. Uh, one by 11 drivetrain, again, simpler system, less gears. You know, don't really need the, the range of gears that uh, a mountain bike patrician would have. Of the 2,200 people that will uh, participate in the event this year, probably the top 100 will be on cross bikes. So that really means the, the weapon of choice really is the mountain bike. Odds are the majority of uh, you guys out there at home probably have a mountain bike, so I would say dust it off, tune it up, and get it ready for a spectacular time at the Paris Dancast. So it's up to you what bike you choose. Whichever one, I'm sure you'll have a great time. Uh, if you have any questions about what bike you want to ride on, or if you need a bike, uh, come on down to New World. Talk to Darren or Victor, they'd be glad to help you out. 